first weekend recap of the new year. I'm going to try to cram this video in real quick before work this morning, so excuse me if I seem a little rushed. Um, so yeah, let's get into it real quick. Um, first, uh, me and Jabs, Passive Live, we went to an antique store, and I found some books and DVDs, so check that out. Courage the Cowardly Dog, the tire series. It was like four bucks. I thought that was cool. So I'm Tim the Toolman Taylor, Home Improvement. Oh? Yeah, first season. I grabbed this even though I already had it, but I don't know, I, just, I figured anything Spider-Man, especially with Doc Ock in it, it's probably gonna hold its value or gain, so let's see. Um, there was a uh, Son of Batman Blu-ray. Not really into this movie too much, but whatever. Three bucks for a Blu-ray, not too bad. And then, of course, the classic training day. Picked that up for a buddy, actually. Okay, and then uh, some of the books I found. Sorry, bumping the camera there. I actually found the Japanese versions of Trigun. One, two, and three. An old anim I was real into back in the day, so that was, that was pretty cool to find these. Oh, let's see here. Okay, then I found a couple George R. R. Martin books. I believe he just helped edit this one, maybe wrote a short story in it. But then there was the first print of Dance with Dragons. I thought that was pretty sweet. I never see those books out to, out there in the wild, so that was cool. Same with this. This was a book that I've heard of for years. My cousin actually uh, introduced me to it. I've never seen it out there, so I was, found this in the uh, paperback. Blades of Tychel. It's a really cool epic fantasy story. Um... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it really without too many spoilers. So if you guys are into epic fantasy tales, get into... This is actually number two in the series, but start with this book, Blade of Touch Hell. I'm sure Jabs has probably showed you guys this. We actually picked these up a couple weeks ago. We each got one basically just for that. Just to see that beautiful Hills logo on there. Okay, um, I'm sure you guys remember the movie Battle Royale. So this is the graphic novel of that movie. Very cool. Okay, now we're getting into some crazy stuff that I did not expect to ever find out there. I'm sure you guys know the Shin Megami Tensei series. This is um, a strategy guide to Nocturne. So, I don't know, it's cool to have the uh the guide for that because it's a game that if i ever do actually find out there i would love to have and this would be really cool to have with it so i thought that was neat then there was a couple more a couple more strategy guides that i found another one of my all-time favorites final fantasy tactics it's a little beat up no worries and then final fantasy 13 i wasn't really too big of a fan of that one but Eh, still not gonna pass up a strategy guide for you know a few few dollars. Okay, okay. So then moving on, uh, we stopped at a local comic book shop, my local comic book shop, and I just grabbed the um, up to date Detective Comics. So it was, I think I I needed uh, I think it was ten thirty six. Okay, 34, yeah. 1034 is where I left off. I had 1033. So I got these are all variant covers too, so I was pretty stoked that they had these. I'll show you guys there real quick. 34. 35. Look at that cover. Wow. Beautiful. Thirty-seven. 
38, 39, 40. Look at that, man. What an awesome, awesome drawing. And finally, 41 and 42. So I'm getting there. I'm not too far behind now. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then at the... Uh, I did find that. I forgot to show you guys that when I found that at the antique store. So this is just Detective Comics 535. It's not a key issue or anything. But this is um, actually... A variant in there there's like a weird ad in there for some uh, jewelry company so this is technically like a error version of that comic so it's a little bit more valuable i completed my three jokers set so now i have one two and three these are the cardstock variants i love the colors of that that pinkish purple it's real cool awesome uh black label books too i'm rolling to dc black labels finally look at that brian michael bennis's uh new series joy operations and this is i could not believe they had it this is i'm not going to say one in one thousand variant but it's pretty high up there um i think it's one one per store basically so each comic book store would get one version of this so there can't be too many of them out there so shout out to todd for that thank you buddy okay now yesterday when we left the antique store we drove around aimlessly basically and went to a few different hobby stores card shops all that stuff we couldn't really find much and we decided to try one uh i'm actually not going to give the name of it away and tell people where it's at yet just keep this as our own little secret honey hole for now <laughs> as ones in the past have been ruined to us so we're gonna keep this one a little secret for now but yeah this guy has some awesome stuff pokemon magic the gathering um some some other non-sports card ones like your Marvels and uh, a couple DCs, but mainly, you know, the sports. It was especially baseball. And when I tell you guys, this guy had walls and walls lined with hobby boxes. Yeah, I mean, he had ones I've never even heard of, but yeah, it was really cool to see all that stuff. So from there, we'll get started. He gave me a few pokemon stuff i think this is just like swag or whatever he had extra so there's a few posters 25th anniversary 20th anniversary and then some other random one okay and then i've got some random packs jabs did as well i'm sure you guys would be real stoked on his he went with baseball and I went with hockey. I did get a few baseball, but so these are the Fleer throwbacks. Uh, nothing too good in there. Maybe, you know, obviously a chance for an autograph, but I think it's uh, maybe Brett Hall, Brett Hall auto. Uh, can't remember. Is that Zetterberg rookie in this one? Anyways, it's a 97 Pinnacle. There's a 94 95 Premier. found this one in there um i hope it's not stuck together i'm pretty sure this this should have jordan's well i mean there's no guarantee but this one might have michael jordan's baseball card in it um then a couple dragon ball z packs the guy didn't really know what to do with them so i said yeah i love that show i'll take it off your hands i don't really collect the cards from that but they are cool and then some fat packs jumbo packs 2017 series two and then the update series so those are pretty cool to find okay and that about wraps it up finally i'll just show you the couple of loose cards that i needed for my personal collection there that i i wanted to grab so there's a nice crosby there's jonathan taylor's variant i need don russ is that a mac jones rookie there's Josh Allen's variant from the 21 Don Ross. I like that card. He looks awfully surprised. Okay, so then we got Vetchkin, couple couple Ovies. Daniel Jones relic. He's got his piece of his jersey in there. 
I was loving this card. Vetchkin. So, I mean, it's not... I wish that was... I think it's a reprint, but, you know, it's still a cool card. Insert. And then... Robert Woods, rookie. And then, finally... Yeah, just like a bunch of old... Muse. I want to say the guy gave me a pretty decent deal on all these. Yeah. I mean, there's some decent cards in there. And I think... Let me see what the cover this one he said. A dollar piece. Yeah, I think he gave me this for like eight bucks or something. Maybe six bucks for all those cards. Not too bad for all that many views. Uh, yeah, I believe that about wraps it up. Oh, I did want to show you guys this. I thought it was really weird. I grabbed a couple, uh, you know, basketball chronicle packs when I was at Walmart the last time. Okay, no big deal. But this was there. I thought that was so weird. This is a 2016, right? Is that one? Civil War came out. Yeah, 2016 pack of Captain America upper deck cards at Walmart. Like, they were with kind of like something like that. Like, you know, at the back of the box. But I don't know. That's just... I thought that was so weird. There's no way that this has been in that store. You know, with... Obviously, these are new cards. But there's no way it was like on that rack or whatever. On that shelf for the last five years. There, there's just no way. Those cards come and go so quick out of that store. But so what happened? Did this get just like fall into the into the palette or something? I don't know. It's just it really weirded me out. So maybe you guys can give me a hint of how this could find its way into Walmart five years later. All right, guys, that wraps it up. Thank you so much. And uh, join me next week for when I finally start playing some video games.